Well, I want to thank you all for coming out today. The neat thing about this park is that it became a national park in 2002. And as we're going to walk through it, you're going to see how young this park is. That means that most of the history of this park happened before it was a national park. Mori Point is one, and then Malaga Ridge, which you can actually see that ridge, that clear ridge right there is Malaga Ridge. We worked there. There was a trail here before, and we have closed the trails in order to direct people on the new trails. And uh, wherever there was a decommissioned trail, we have uh, planted native plants, and we placed the straw around the native plants to keep the invasive plants out. Every flag is, represents where we've planted a native plant. And this is part of our, our restoration work here. One of the things we did for the endangered species Big Ear was try to see and save each of the 33 endangered species found within the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, which of course includes Maury Point, two of which are found right here, the San Francisco garter snake, the most beautiful serpent in all of North America, and the most imperiled, and also the California red-legged frog. At the golf course, through two different kinds of operations, has been killing the both species for a number of years. The entire landscape at Sharp Park has been altered greatly, particularly when the golf course was built, both by the construction of the golf course and the subsequent creation of the berm. The garter snake and the frog were always present on the property, but before the, the berm was created, considered the, the garter snake to be abundant at the time. That, those numbers have declined precipitously until this past year, when they saw one garter snake on the property the entire year. The frog, when the rains hit, the frog tr is triggered to breed. It lays its egg masses, and unfortunately when the rains hit today, because of the berm, the golf course also floods. They flip the switch on the pump to drain the water off the golf course, and it leaves egg masses for the California red-legged frog. High and dry, they desiccate, the egg masses die, they dry out. You can lose tens to hundreds of frogs, an entire generation of frogs, if they get all the egg masses with every instance. That is why Maury Point is so important, is because we both have wetlands and we have this upland grassland habitat here. The neat things about that snake is that they need an ecotone. They need the wetland, but they also need the grassland habitat, and they travel between the two habitats. The reason we built these ponds was because if we can bump up the frog habitat and the amount of frogs here, we're going to bump up the food source for the snakes. There used to be so many snakes here. It used to be an amazing habitat for the snakes. It still is an amazing habitat for the snakes. We just need to get their population revived and going again.